In this video, traders are gonna look at why I like big gaps. Stay tuned. I like big gaps and I cannot lie. All right, an awful joke, but let's get serious, guys. I like big gaps in markets. Why do I like them? I'm gonna to explain to you now. Now, this is one of the reasons I personally lean more towards instruments that do gap, whether that's stocks intraday gapping, or not intraday gapping, daily gapping, should I say, from the close to the open. Uh, the indices have a cash gap. Yes, I know a lot of them trade 24 hours, but that cash gap does influence, so I quite like those. Currencies, not so much, or not at all, and Unless you get obviously from the Friday night to the Sunday evening gap. So why do I like gaps so much? For me, gaps present an opportunity. When you've got a big gap, what does it mean? It means a lot of people are interested in that stock, in that market. So supply and demand starts to move around all over the place. And when we get extremes in supply and demand, that's when we get opportunity as traders. So when we see a big gap to the downside, it means that for whatever reason, traders are repricing that stock lower. They consider whatever's happened from the close to the open over those hours, it's now worth X amount less. That could be significant amount, could be a small amount. So I like when we have this instance where there's a decent size gap it's a thick stock as well. So I know we get lots of small cap stocks that are gapping you know, hundreds of percents or 50, 60, 70%. That's okay. But the thicker stocks that are gapping is interesting to me because one, we've got liquidity. Two, we've got interest. Three, we've got a lot of people caught out, whichever way you look at it. So that means we are going to get two-way trade. The majority of the time, we are going to get opportunity. So that means if you are a day trader, you could focus on that stock. You know it's going to be in play for the day. You know it's going to be interesting. And you know that more than likely, you are going to get several bites at getting good setups on it. That's why gap trading or trading stocks or markets that have gapped significantly is so attractive. If you have something that hasn't gapped, then there's no urgency to it. It's moved overnight, and yes, it might have moved in an extreme way, but it's traded all the way through different price levels as it's got to that level. It hasn't just gone from one price level to the other with a massive gap in between in price, and people have gone, ah, what do I do? Because of course, think about yourself, right? You're in a position, the market's going along, you've held it overnight, you're long, you're comfortable, all of a sudden, next morning, it sets the gap lower 10%. You are in a sense of urgency, maybe not panic, but you are want to execute your trades in an urgent manner. And that means you are going to be looking at time sensitivity rather than price. And I've talked about this before. Well, if traders in the whole are more sensitive to price than they are time, then markets don't move much because they're using limit orders. Like I don't want to pay more than five, don't want to pay more than two, don't want to do this, don't want that. Markets don't move. If they're like, I don't care what I pay, I need to get out now, that's when markets move because market orders move markets. And so gaps yield opportunity. Now I'm not saying FX is completely out of the question, but it might be worth you considering if you're trading FX, if you're chugging along thinking, you know what, I'm not really making the progress I want to be making. Maybe you can look at some other instruments, instruments that gap, just because they add that extra little seasoning into the mix. You've got your recipe there, and gaps is like adding a couple of those really spicy chilies, a bit of chili sauce in there, stirring it up, and that's the thing that gives you the kick. It gives you what we need and thrive on as traders, which is fuel, volatility, direction, supply demand imbalance, and the main thing is, for my, for my perspective, is that when I get a setup, in a gap situation where I know it's like running one way, the other, bang, back and forward, I'm likely to get an extended move in my favor rather than just chugging. Now, I'm not writing off Forex completely here, guys. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing Forex. I'm just merely putting out there that perhaps you might want to consider trading around opportunities where there are big gaps. This is where I like to trade, I like to get involved when there are big gaps. I like to see if my setups are occurring, I like to see if there's opportunity, both on the day of the gap and subsequent days, because I know there's a lot of interest. I know there's supply demand, I know there's money flowing in or out, and that creates opportunity. So 
Don't be afraid to check it out, guys. Don't spread yourself too thin. Don't trade everything. But, you know, maybe if you want to look at something else at the same time, time to develop some strategies in parallel with your current Forex trading, by all means, check it out. Anyway, guys, whatever you're doing, you know the drill. Keep the risk managed. Take care. Bye-bye.